Hey, what's up, my royalties? We're back at it again with another reaction video. Uh, this time we're reacting to how Zack and Cody escaped from Dizzy. They are never coming back. Uh, yeah, I gotta see what's the update with these two guys, uh, Dylan and Cole, um, better known as Zack and Cody from Sweet Life Zack and Cody, um, back from 2005. I mean, my goodness, we're at 2022. I mean, the years are going by so fast. Was it 17 years ago when they did that show? I remember like it's yesterday. It's like one of the biggest shows on Disney. I mean, because you had that uh, Wizard of Waverly Place with Selena Gomez. Um, so you had all these great te uh, television shows, especially as me growing up as a kid um, during that time in the 2000s of the t TV shows coming out. You got to think about it. This is before the social media era actually became, you know, with Twitch and YouTube, where all these young kids, that the, that's what they're going to. That's their stars, or Twitch stars and YouTubers. It's not like it was back in the day when people were just on cable television, and you look up to these childhood guys, you know, females or whatnot, as like your, your celebrity stars. Um, the time is totally different now than it was, right? But um, I'm just curious to see, you know, what happened to these guys. Like, did they go crazy? You know, like Amanda Bynes and, um, you know, these other guys um, that just, you know, they're doing things with their life. You know, what is it? You know, Drake and Josh. Drake, he went crazy. I think he's like a child ped pedophile. <laughs> he went behind prison because he was texting a 13-year-old girl, discussing situation. But you see these guys, Shia LaBeouf, right? The guy who did Transformers. Even though he did have that those movies, but outside of that, you know, he didn't really turn out. But just go crazy. And I get it. You know, that's so much fame and so much that you do so much pressure, such as a young age, that expect you to carry that legacy on and do these other gigs and these big movie stars, uh, become movie stars and just grow. It, it doesn't happen like that all the time. A lot of time, they become drug addicts, alcoholics, because they can't deal with all the um, fame and pressure. Um, go broke, you know, go crazy, you know, all the crazy things that you guys see. Um, so hopefully, it's different with these guys. I'm hoping, you know, that this is not gonna like, be a sad story. That they did something, found new passions, and you know, do this in their lives, you know, for the most part. But yeah, roll tease. Let's get straight to the video and just see, get an update with the whole situation, and see what happened with you guys. Mostly Dylan have done a lot to escape their previous lives. They both got accepted to New York University and decided to dorm with everyone else and go to college full time. College. Dylan was majoring in video game design and was something of a video game addict. Cole was an archaeology student, majoring in geographical information systems. He traveled all over the world through their program and even made a big discovery. Cole unearthed a mask of Denisius in Bulgaria. They both were quite literally just normal college kids from 2011 to 2014 focused on their studies and working side jobs in their free time. This type of normality most definitely prevented them from ending up like countless other child celebrities. Child stars face a lot of pressure to immediately get an adult acting role or start a music career. Whatever it is, if they don't outdo Disney or Nickelodeon, it seems like a step down because they have millions of fans that want them to still be their 13 year old selves. But when you get into your 20s, you just want to move on. The pressure ends up eating them alive and they make mistakes. Then it's highly publicized, which compounds the initial problem. So instead of going Going down the dark Hollywood path, the twins did the exact opposite. Let's fully step away from this. We can't be compared to our old roles if we aren't doing anything at all. They did stay popular on Twitter and social media and would let the jokes fly. Oh, I get it, Selena. Too good to follow your old pals, Dylan and Cole, huh? This I is just you, like Selena, when we were like, 12. Why Cole started with an the Instagram place. page called Camera those Rules, shoes, where he would post pictures like of people that were there. trying to secretly take pictures of course he had Jesse, and he had other Accompanied with uh, comically Disney long captions of him critiquing That's his strategy. I mean, this is so the only scandals or controversies they got in were pretty mild. Dylan took lewd pictures of himself that leaked. Because of this, he gained hundreds of thousands of followers, so it kind of helped him. Then Cole started a Tumblr social experiment that legitimately made some of his fans turn on him, where he pretended to be himself in order to get fans to engage with him. While they were engaging, he was writing deep and philosophical paragraphs on why their perception of him is flawed. Then after one month, he deleted his account, told everyone it was a social experiment, and basically made fun of them for idolizing him and engaging. Kind of a douchey move. Like I said before, Cole and Dylan are a lot like Cody and Zach. Cole is the philosophical, poetic, artsy boy who thinks super deeply about everything. Dylan, while still being artsy and well-educated, likes to slam beers with the bros and have a good time. We get it, you're Dylan Sprouse, and you're livid about games and journalism, even though you can't fight me IRL. Hey, this Catch was sweet some years ago. We this are as the sun, 
the rays come bearing to our soft-spoken souls, dancing torpidly upon the frail shudder of angst. Your Insta. Remember when I said Dylan discovered his love for alcohol at age 16? Due to his love for history, he became interested in the ancient alcoholic beverage mead, which apparently is the oldest alcohol ever that can be traced back 8,000 years. It's a fermented beverage made of honey, that water, and yeast. Disgusting. During his college years, he would practice that making his own meads. Disgusting. Some batches were good, some were terrible. But no matter what, he and his roommate Matt got drunk. When Dylan graduated college, he was taking some acting gigs, but he had more free time and wanted to pick up a hobby. Since he was passionate about brewing, he got an internship at a distillery called Kings County in Brooklyn. Working there and getting immersed into this world made him realize how badly he wanted to pursue this hobby into something bigger. The all-wise meadery was born, which is his Brooklyn meadery where he actually makes the alcohol himself. A lot of people in the brewing community doubted Dylan. They thought he was a privileged actor boy who grew up with everything and wanted to take over their hard-earned reputation. They didn't realize how passionate he was and how much respect he had for mead and brewing. Plus he had a lot of people just saying he was another celebrity endorsing a product. Like he didn't care for So it. what it if he is? He's I bring more to money to the company. Why, why do you care how he feels? Brewing it. Like he's, right. you know, I endorsing his product. A lot more money you're making recipes. about what? I have to Get explain out here. a lot to people that this is my business and I'm here But that's, that's pretty cool. That or comes as a surprise. I guess crazy to, to become a lot of like a childhood star. It's kind of wild to see someone go for a much more humble job. Yeah, like you go to like a childhood star fame and money. Cole, on the other hand, was pursuing his photography career. Not so much for money, but rather the art. One day he asked Traveler Magazine if he could work on a piece for them. They said yes, but not for money, since they had no idea he did anything outside of the Disney Channel. So Cole took a three-day train journey from the West Coast to the East Coast and documented the process. They ended up publishing his article digitally. While this isn't some massive success story, it just shows the boys were trying to broaden their horizons with the luxury of not needing big paychecks. He would go on to be a respected photographer and get some of his pieces published in high-profile magazines. But Cole would ultimately get back into acting. In 2017, he got a consistent role on the wildly successful teen drama show Riverdale, oh, that's which right has there. been running for I didn't realize he was in Riverdale. As well that's as good. lead roles in the movies Five Feet Apart and Moonshot. All I right, definitely so see got bigger gigs. more large acting gigs so in his career. Dylan did also get back into acting in 2017. His team suggested that he shoot for lead roles in big projects like his brother, but he prefers small indie films and yeah, wanted to participate on good projects regardless of the character size or depth. Dylan still spends a lot of his time focusing on video games. He's extremely immersed in Dungeons and & Dragons and offers his help with indie game developers. He even recently released his own comic book called Sun Eater. My brother and I used to get quite a bit of, oh you made it out, oh you're unscathed. No. The young women on the channel we were on were so heavily sexualized from such an earlier age than my brother and I that there's absolutely no way that we could compare our experiences. Cole has been vehemently against child stars getting criticized for their downward spirals because there are mostly women being targeted and the public doesn't seem to understand the difficulty of being a child star or what goes on behind the scenes. Dylan and Cole actually started getting into acting because their family needed money, so they put their one-year-olds to work. Bro, this sounds like a recipe not for disaster, just look but like it seems their as dad? if their family needed money. They look identical to their dad as they got older. Now, as you see the older, they look just like their dad. That's crazy. So they put their one-year-olds you know to they work. Got their looks this from. sounds like a recipe for disaster, but it seems as if their parents instilled look the right values like in their dad. You can't tell me, can't tell me otherwise. Some people, like 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 Some people believe Disney exhausts and overworks children for our entertainment. Cole says that they didn't suffer as much trauma since they were boys, which could be very true. I also believe that stepping away from the spotlight and pursuing something normal was the key to them maintaining their sanity and integrity. Although they look back on their past fondly and came out on scathed we will never get a sweet life of zach and cody reboot or we're not so looking for all oh, this Dylan and I are gonna do a sweet life reboot and i go no absolutely Damn. not honestly confidently no <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> no i don't think that we will well that's it uh i'm not sure if they don't want it or there's no studio they don't think he's gonna pick it up because that'd be pretty cool if they do like a reboot like a reunion like what they're doing with the iCarly with paramount like some other company picked them up some studio and give these guys a shot, because that would be pretty cool to do some reboot. I don't know, they're uh, adopting a kid. I don't know what they could do with the storyline. But um, that's cool to see they did something in life. You know, Cole became a photographer. And um, Dylan, he decided to have a brewery company and, you know, make beers all day. I mean, hey, if that's your passion, go for it. That's a royalty. That's the main thing about life. Especially when you're, like, anywhere between like, 18 and in your 20s. You know, 18 to, what, 30 or whatnot. Um, chase your passions, regardless of the money. Chase your passions because you have way less responsibility early on in your life to figure out what you like. Then from there, you know, the money will come in instead of trying to get the money or whatnot, right? Because, again, I know money is important. You got to pay your bills. You got kids. I got you. But that's what I'm saying. Chase your passion right out of the gate after high school, 18. Go for it. Because when you get kids and you get older, 
more responsibility that's harder to just chase passion because you gotta put food in people's mouths you gotta you got responsibilities people are relying on you um so definitely royalties keep that in mind but yeah royalties that's it with this video uh let me know what you guys think about uh you know zach and cody you know their life afterwards after that show um in the comment section down below uh, i really want to see you guys opinion but yeah that's it with this video guys make sure you guys leave a like subscribe and turn on those notifications and until next time catch you guys in the next video peace out